Well, if you're guilty of throwing away wilted veggies and uneaten takeaway, this segment is perfect yeah, for you. Yeah, this is really great. This morning we are learning how to level up our leftovers, saving time and money with some help from, you guessed it, Sunrise nutritionist mm -hmm. Sarah DiLorenzo. Good morning to Good you. Good morning, guys. Oh, Good morning. Okay. It does, doesn't it? And it smells great too. Yes. Let's start with leftover curry. Yeah, I have reinvented the beef curry into mm -hmm. something that no one would ever guess was a leftover. It is so fabulous. So you imagine you've got your beef curry, you've spent some money on some rump, you don't want to chuck it out, it's in the fridge the next day or even the day after, depending on how long you keep your leftovers for. I have just got these little cute ramekin dishes here. The curry's in the bottom of each. Now, that's some regular mashed potato, white mashed potato, sweet potato. Oh, can I do sweet? Are these, yes. Are these hot? Can we eat them? Uh, yeah, they're warm. Oh, they they're, yeah, they're yeah. straight from the oven. Uh, yeah. And, yeah, don't do bring so your could hands. this, be, could could this be a leftover curry? Yeah, le or well, we're going to call it like a cute pie, I think, or we'll go with like a shepherd pie or a cottage pie. I mean, pie. you could make it from scratch but too, really. Yeah, yeah, you could, but it's delicious. You put it in the oven. Oh, mother... You <laughs> what to say? What did you say, Sherman? Nothing. Keep it's going. delicious. My mother made this. Yes. Yeah, your mother did made that. Yeah. This reminds me of, of. I want um, you to get a piece of the um, rump. And this suit's so on loan, so I can't spill it. Mm. Okay. Is that not amazing? Do you know what? This is delicious. It's I know so it's like a billion degrees outside yes. and it's summertime, yeah. but that's a real winter warmer, isn't it? It is. It's, it's, my, it's my recipe mm. creation, that beef curry. Mm. But honestly, that's like so as a leftover, I think with leftovers, the flavour like is too. really good the next day. There's people who love leftovers and there's mm. people who don't. My middle daughter I loves love it. it. My younger daughter mm. thinks I'm being lazy if I do what? a leftover. Well, she should be doing all the cooking. Now. She should. No. Chloe, if you're watching, no. <laughs> when, um, Chloe, start cooking. Mm. <laughs> when blokes are stuck at home, yeah. and their partner goes away for a yep. period of time, yeah. you cook up a whole lot of bolognese mm. sauce, right? Yes. It's so that. versatile. Yes. Toasties, spaghetti, yes. whatever mm. else. Yes. You've got another invention for us. Yeah, absolutely, and this is so easy to do. So you've got your bolognese. It could be minced from any kind of recipe, and you're thinking, what am I going to do with it? It's the next day or the day after. You just throw some beans in there, some cumin, a bit mm. of chilli in the pan like I've got here. Yum. And this is basically a Mexican breakfast. It's so delicious. Coriander on the top. Throw oh, a few eggs in there. Oh, should we and taste you, that as Yeah, well? enjoy yeah, this. That. And then you could grab that beautiful bread there and you could just stick the bread through the egg yolk and enjoy it. At, you could eat it together out of the mm. fry pan. Out of the pan, yeah. Yes, that's, or you could serve hot. it, but it is so good. Mm. Sure, that's cool. Sure, that's you've kind of got it. a bit of a Spanish but kind of you feel to it, doesn't yeah, it? it does, but well, it's like a Mexican a egg. But if you dip that in there and then you put oh. a bit of the meat on top, that yeah. would be so good in the coriander. Mm. That's fabulous, isn't that? Yeah, How, what a great idea oh, for the a breakfast. Coriander. That is, that's delicious. Yeah, no, I love that Nothing one. Nothing screams so. Mexican, Mexican like a bit eggs. of coriander. And you know what? It depends on how long you keep your leftovers for. How long would you keep leftovers for? Holy dolly. Till they smell bad. That's so good. Mm, that's it really good, so isn't it? That's really delicious. A few days. How long? Four? I, I, I fours my cut Four's off. Fours the absolute yeah, cut fours off. My, fours I have my been known off. to just And then you go to them. high heat, right? <laughs> <laughs> After that, day five. I'm the same. <laughs> yeah. Now, this, yes, what, this is a okay, sweet one. I'm so... I love this. This is so good. Okay, so the eggs are getting close You're to their... You're fired up today. Well, I love... Okay, well, I'm passionate about mm. what I do. But you, you have to try this. I'm actually super proud of this. This is my creation. I've got a French toast, so... The toast is a bit stale. You can't use it for school lunch boxes. Um, your eggs are close to the use by date. Your milk by might be as well. So cinnamon in here. Cinnamon is something I truly believe everyone should have some of every day because it's great for it. Oh, it acts like it, yeah. My language. It, okay, yes. You, you have to try this. And so then I've got. Um, you don't love French toast. I, 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 you can try it. It's so good. Oh, okay. Matt, Matt, <laughs> I don't love so French toast. Okay, so I've got orange zest, orange juice, cinnamon, maple, vanilla, oh, coconut yogurt, yogurt, bit of mint from the garden. Is that not off the charts in deliciousness? That is like Like it's peaking. 20 out of 10. Oh. It's so peaking. Good. It's so mm. good. Okay, it that's is. a good wrap. Yeah, so anyway. Really good, the nuts on top. Mm. Whoever Very thought good. you couldn't reinvent the leftover mm. into something sensational? Outstanding. Okay. And uh, uh, well a thin piece of toast, it's just perfect. Yeah, yeah, Love yeah. That. No, amazing. Mm. There you go. Yes. Uh, we also have, we've, got a, we've got another one that we've missed over, but we're going to put it on the website. Yeah. All of those recipes that Sarah has reinvented just out of your fridge are going to be on the Sunrise website. It's easy.